All right, everybody, good morning and welcome to Against the Public for August 8th. I'm Dana Lane. Today, we're going to go through my top Major League Baseball free plays as we try to build on yet another winning day with our free plays. I hope everybody has been able to tail. And as usual, we'll finish up the show with a handicapping tip. Today, we'll run on over to uh, NFL preseason tips and uh, we'll talk about referees in the in the NFL preseason see how much effect different referees have uh, whether you're a favor or a home team or just going with the public and the, and the higher percentage of the money wager so that's kind of interesting and then we have uh, a little nugget at the end that shows three referees when they're on the road uh, they are absolutely uh, almost unbeatable so stay tuned for that after the show please go to pickdogs.com i'll have my premium major league baseball plays loaded up and don't forget i'll have every one of my nfl preseason selections for week one of the preseason available tonight so please keep on checking back make sure you start with me from the beginning let's have an amazing national football league season you can jump on my uh, single plays or my major league baseball or nfl exhibition three pack for just 49.99 and of course every single play and every three pack always comes with their pick dogs win guarantee that states you must profit or receive an immediate site credit for the purchase price in addition this is the time. you got one more day, guys, before football starts. There's only one way to get every one of my plays, and that's to simply become an all-access member. And you can do that for the next 30 days. It will carry right through the preseason for less than $11 a day. Plus, you get every other play I release for one low price. You can do that over the next 90 days for less than $10 a day. Or better yet, jump on my annual all-access pass for just $3.70 a day. It gives you every play in the NFL preseason season every regular season play every uh college football play nhl nba college basketball and right back to this time next year in major league baseball and you can do that for just three dollars and 70 cents a day so grab your credit card put it on there tomorrow it officially starts i don't think we're going to have any lightning storms tomorrow should be getting results and i'm very excited to get the national football league season uh, at least the preseason started uh, tomorrow as i mentioned uh i also or as i mentioned yesterday i already have my preseason package locked and loaded on pickdogs.com 199.99 gives you every preseason selection for one low price and again Guys, I don't mean to toot the horn, but I do need to let you know what we did. Over 4,000 units won last year between the NFL and college football, number one in that category. If you missed out on last year, do not miss out again uh, in this year. And of course, uh, that all starts tomorrow. So I look forward to seeing all of you who were with me last year, and I look forward to seeing some new faces from uh, the people that don't want to miss out this year. Okay, on to your free plays for Thursday. Remember, these are probable pitchers, so please confirm before uh, placing your wager. I did that today. Ben Lively got the start for the Guardian, so I tried to make that note as quickly as I could on the video, but uh, the probable pitchers uh, sometimes do change, so make sure that you uh, take note of that and before making your wager that you just double check which starter you're getting we'll start it off very early at least here on the west coast 1205 eastern time 957 958 is your rotation number san francisco giants on the road a dollar 23 nine under minus 20 against the washington nationals kyle harrison against dj hers uh, when it comes to the side in this one it, there's there's it's almost right down the middle now we see 57 percent of the early wagers on the giants 75 percent of, of the overall tickets also on the giants but the money is almost right down the middle um our focus in this game is going to be the total uh where there's less division for sure amongst the betters and the public or the professionals in the public 86 percent of the money is on the over 87 percent of the tickets and with that being said we have seen some reverse steam action uh that has pushed the under from minus a dollar 15 to a dollar 20 which is good news for us kyle harrison gets the ball for the giants he looks to improve on his six and five record to go with a 4.09 era harrison was rocked to say the least by the San, uh, by the cincinnati reds and his last time out six earned runs six hits four homers allowed and just three and two-thirds innings 
Um, that was a 6-4 giant loss. Over his last five starts, Harrison owns a 2-2 two two record, a 4.50 ERA. DJ Hurst, 2-4 this year, 4.27 ERA, unlike Harrison, is coming off a terrific outing against the Milwaukee Brewers after shutting out the Brew Crew for five innings. He owns a 3.24 ERA over his last five starts behind a 1-2 and two record. Watch how he handles the bottom of the Giants order. If there was one thing about Hurst is he kind of mows through, especially the middle of the lineup. Not so great with the top, but the bottom of the lineup is where he struggles. Opponents have hit 296 against hers from the 7-8-9 spot. We're going to go over the 9. Uh, we're going to take that bankroll friendly, even money. Might want to wait a little bit. I don't think you're getting much plus money on this. So, um, eh, scrap that. Just go ahead and bet this right now. Over 9, even money. Game number 2, 310 Eastern Time, 9:55, 9:56. New York Mets on the road, minus $1.60, 11 over, minus 15 against, you guessed it, the Rockies. David Peterson, Austin Gomber, welcome to Colorado where we have totals of 11. And surprisingly, the overs have not cashed as open as you would, as often as you would have thought, uh, which is something that we talked about in previous videos. The over is just 9 and 13 uh, when the total is 11 or more at Coors Field. 87 and 109 over the last four seasons. Remember, I told you all those elements are already built into the total. David Peterson, 5 and 1, 3.47 ERA, held the Los Angeles Angels to two earned runs, five hits in six innings, and his last outing, a 5 4 Angels win. Uh, the part about the equation that I definitely worry about is the Austin Gomber part. Uh, Gomber's 3-7 and seven this year, a 4.66 ERA. In his last four starts, he owns an ERA of 4.55. So that's right in tone, right, right with what he's done in the regular season. So really no uh, shade either way there. But he did give up 30 hits in 28 and a third innings, and that is a lot of base runners. I mean, almost every inning you're dealing with a uh, with some base runners when it comes to Gomper. So you have to take that into effect. You have to or into an account. And you also have to take into account that it is course field. Uh, the public doesn't seem to be scared off the total with this. 63% of the money is on the over along with 62% of the tickets. Not enough meat on these wagers to move the number, but we've seen two low scoring games so far in this series. Uh, the Colorado Rockies, in, in fact, over the last five games have cashed four unders uh, in that spam. And you know, to me, were common sense doesn't usually cash tickets and i feel in my gut of guts that a breakout game is coming uh, this is the first time all season that the mets have cashed at least three straight overs on the road i think that streak ends today we're going to go over 11 minus a dollar 15 and what should be a very entertaining game if you like offense game number three 6 10 eastern time 9 59 9 60 cincinnati reds against the miami marlins Cincinnati minus a dollar ninety-two, seven and a half over minus fifteen. Hunter Green against Kyle Tyler. The bad news is we have some wind to deal with here, uh, especially early in the game. Looks like uh, it is going to blow uh, straight out the center, shaded a little bit the left field. Uh, could be a factor early on. We're looking at winds about 9 to 11 miles an hour, somewhere in that range. So keep that in mind early on, especially if you're betting first five games or even uh, first inning first inning wagers. Uh, we've seen one significant wager uh, over at my old old stomping grounds in Schenectady, New York with bet at uh, Rivers, Rivers Resort uh, being the trigger hotel on this wager. Uh, the action is pretty sharp at that at that uh, casino, but uh, the pros win there a little bit more than they lose uh, by, by a small margin. I mean, not the sharpest uh, not not the sharpest betters at that property, but above average, better than most, and I probably probably grew up and probably know most of them, but uh, didn't have that like, betting option when I was a kid, and that's probably a good thing. Uh, Green is eight and four, two point eight three ERA, one one hundred and forty nine strikeouts and one hundred and thirty innings, one hundred and thirty point one innings this season. Hasn't given up a run in twenty one innings, and he's given up just one earned run in his last 33 innings. And he's also given up just 10 hits in that span. It's about as dominant as you can get. And excuse me for saying that's very Paul Skeens of him. Then there's Kyle Tyler, uh, the flip side of that. 0-2, 5.27 ERA. 
uh, make it a seven start of the season. Over the last three weeks, Tyler owns a 7.94 ERA, allows, has allowed 21 hits over 11 and a third innings, eight walks, and 12 Ks. Uh, there's a reason the send out number has some juice on the over at some spots, and that's because we simply can't rely on Tyler, uh, especially after opponents have hit for what 420 over his last three starts. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go. I have no other reason to not think that the former Oklahoma Sooner is gonna have some problems in this game as well. And who knows? Maybe we're gonna get some uh, runs uh, from Miami and, and from uh, from the Florida Marlins. I, this is probably the one time uh, that that green is going to give up a bunch of runs. We've seen this a million times where, you know, a hot pitcher goes in, especially when they're going in uh, and playing the Marlins at home. Hot pitcher goes in and absolutely has no business, uh, or the, the home team has absolutely no business uh, hitting him around, and all of a sudden he gives up three runs and four innings, and we cash in over. But um, we also have seen in the past, and, and you know if you, uh, you've seen me do these videos, I'm very high on Hunter Green. I've always been high on him. Uh, been in control issues in the past. So uh, it, he there are times where he's not as sharp, and he is in his probably his best pocket of time as a pitcher, uh, this not only this season, but is in his entire career. But I've seen him enough. I've watched him enough to know that an implosion is coming. Not saying it's happening against the fish, but I'm still going to take that over seven and a half minus a dollar fifteen. And before we go, I thought it would be interesting with the NFL preseason ramping up this weekend. See what what officials or which officials have the most impact in various situations. And we didn't go too deep on this, but this is what I found. Uh, these are preseason numbers only, and it's based on the last five seasons. So I went a little further back to get uh, some more data. And I was happily, I was happy on this because I thought, well, if I go back five years, I'm going to find some records that are yeah, this. We're going to have to throw them out because these guys are not referees anymore. But for the most part, they're still all there. Now I broke it down between favorites and underdogs. Uh, Tony Corrente is four in one uh, when uh, in favor of the favorites as a referee. Four and one, two point seven one. Now we know uh, he's one of the few referees that have retired. He retired. In 2021, got asked to come back and do the Pro Bowl in 2022. After that, uh, that's been it for him. So we can throw him out. But behind him, Alex Kemp, 3-2-1, uh, plus $1.10, seventh season as a referee, 12th overall. And Bill Vinovich, 3-2 uh, and two in his 16th season. So not a lot of numbers when you're looking at favorites. Uh, not, nothing that we can kind of pull from referees and say, wow, they really favor the favorites. Uh, but that's that's kind of what it's been over the last few seasons. Now, underdogs, a little bit different. Clay Martin is 5-2 ATS, plus 2.95 units in his seventh season. Sean Hockley also in his seventh season, 5-2, uh, betting underdogs uh, in the preseason. And Cleet Bakeman, 4-1. and one. Uh, Lane Clark, 3-1. and one. And Sean Smith, 4-2 and two when betting underdogs in the preseason. Now, uh, let's divide it by home and road teams. Maybe we can find something there. Home teams, there really is nothing to lean on here. Uh, everybody's within a game of each other. Uh, one one game over 500, one game under 500. So not, nothing really there to lean on. But road teams is a completely different story. Clay Martin leads the way uh, in betting road teams six and one. The road teams are ATS when Clay Martin is the referee plus 4.87 units. Sean Hockley right uh, right next to him six and one 4.84 units. Alex Kemp four one and one plus 3.16 units. Now if you took Clay Martin, Sean Hockley, and Alex Kemp and combined them uh, when they referee games on the uh, when they referee games, the road team combined over over the last five years is 16 three and one ATS. Might be something you want to check out uh, this entire preseason. Now, when 
now who is a friend to betters? And what I mean is when one team is getting the higher percentage of, of the money, meaning over 50.1% of the money, which referees do you want on your side um, in these situations? Well, Alex Kemp is four and one. He's been a friend to betters. Uh, four and one ATS, Clay Martin, five and two, Brad Rogers, five and two, Scott Novak, four and two, and Carl Sheffers, four, two and one ATS when teams are, um, are, are when betters are on one side. I don't know if I'm explaining this right, but say one team get 52 percent of the of the money and Alex Kemp is the referee, usually the betters win. You probably understand that better than me. Okay, the worst, Sean Smith, two and four. So if you're betting on a game that Sean Smith is the referee, well, you want to make sure that you're on uh, that, that, you know, maybe, maybe reduce your bet a little bit because Sean Smith has not been a friend, uh, to betters when a side is getting more than 50% of the money. I hope that makes sense. Uh, and really, we just want to go back to, uh, the Clay Martin, Sean Hockley and Alex Kemp, 16, three and one ATS in favor of the road teams when their crew is working the game. If you're taking anything out of this, that's what you need to take out of it. And you can find these uh, trends. There's various sites, or not trends, but you can find the assignments out there. There's various sites out there. Football Zebra seems to be the best, or, uh, or I think it's Football Zebras. They seem to be the best website out there as far as this is concerned. Now, I don't know when you will actually get this information. Maybe you can find it out a little bit quicker. Uh, at the very least, they're going to say it on the broadcast so you could do an in-game wager um you know that that's as good as i can i know in baseball probably two to three hours before game time they release that information not sure about preseason football and not sure how quick that website actually gets that information but that's the best site out there that i can tell so far if there's anything you'd like me to research please drop me a comment on that youtube channel I'll get to it uh, if I have the numbers, which I usually do. That does it for Thursday's free plays, free plays and handicapping tip of the day. Please go to pickdogs.com. Get involved with one of my many available packages. We, we smashed it last night on the free plays. We smashed it on pickdogs.com. Make sure to come back and get, in, get started with the NFL season right now. Now, the record uh, last year, what we did is up there. It is all documented, never doctored. Everything is up there for better or worse. So make sure you get involved right now. Here's your Thursday free play recap. San Francisco, Washington, over nine, even money. New York, Mets, Colorado, over 11, minus $1.15. Cincinnati, Miami, over seven and a half, minus 15. That does it for today's show. Thank you to, to everyone that continues to watch on a daily basis. Please hit that like and subscribe button for Against the Public. I'm Dana Lane. All the best to you and your wagers on Thursday.